gosh, I'm not. Hey guys. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what you're going to do for Thursday. Um, of course, you still have the virtual book tasting that you need to finish because you guys didn't finish it yesterday. Um, but then something else that I want you to do is going to be the classmate interview. So you would click on your classmate interview and from there it's going to bring you to a document where um, you should hopefully have your own copy um, so it would be this you would click here right onto that one and then it would open up to this document now if you do not have your own copy do not request access i repeat do not request access because that is the master copy so we're not going to be doing anything with that because you need to have your own so if for whatever reason it doesn't give you your own copy you will go to file make a copy and then you can change this part. You can take off the copy of if you would like, that's totally fine. And then you press okay. I'm pressing cancel because I don't need the copy. So what you're going to be doing here is you are going to go into a breakout room. I'm gonna put everyone in breakout rooms. There should be only two people in a breakout room. If we have an odd number of students, then there could be three and then each one would interview someone else so that way everyone can get interviewed so we're going to say that this person right here is the person that i'm interviewing so i would ask her the questions that are on my paper i'm not filling this out for myself it says what is your full name i'm not going to put michelle bailey no I will not do that. I need to ask her the questions and I need to fill out the paper because this is my partner. So what is your full name? Aubrey Nicole Bailey. And then I'm going to write that. She said Aubrey Nicole Bailey. If I need help spelling it, then I can ask her. Um, when is your birthday? April 16, 2008. April 16th, 2008. Is that what you said? Yeah, 2008. Okay. What are three words that describe you? Um, I don't know. Okay, so she's saying she doesn't know on this part. If she doesn't know, we're not going to stay here. We're not going to be stuck in a spot. So I'm going to say, hey, Aubrey, um, can you please think of three words that describe you? And then we'll just move on to the next question. Will you please think about it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. When were you born? Oh, where? I'm sorry. <laughs> where were you born? In San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas. Awesome. That's where we live. So then I would write San Antonio, Texas. And I continue on asking her all of these questions. And she answers all of the questions when she is done answering these questions then i go back to that one that she skipped and we try to figure that out um from there before we go on to part two we split we flip around and she's going to ask me all the same questions and she needs to fill out the paper that she has then once that part is done and we each have all of the part one filled out we need to go to part two and that's the introduction paragraph so once i'm done then i'm going to write a paragraph and introduce her to the rest of the class it needs to include your partner's name birthday the three words that they would use to describe themselves and then at least three other facts that i found interesting so over here i would type my partner's name is Aubrey Bailey and her birthday is April 
16th. And then I continue on from there, something that I found interesting and I keep going. When it's time for you guys to share, because we are going to share with the class, we are not just going to read this. This paragraph that you're going to write is more of a guide for you to help you out along the way. So don't just say, my partner's name is Aubrey Bailey and her birthday is April 16th. No, I want it to be a little bit interesting. I don't want it to be robotic. So, so feel free to say, oh yeah, we were talking about this and I really like this about her. Go for it. Um... Let me see. Okay. And that's it. Uh, once you are done with that, remember you would go into your submission button, which I cannot show you because I don't have it on a student screen. But since it should be attached on the right hand side of your screen, you should see submit assignment. You just have to click it. And that's it. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, we'll be going through this also in class. Thank you.